Having recently hit 50,000 reservations, the excitement around the Fisker Ocean SUV is gradually hitting top gear in anticipation of its launch later this year. However, there's been a lot of debate about whether Fisker will install self-driving technology as part of the features it will come with. One would expect that, at the very least, a futuristic car such as the Fisker Ocean will be equipped with autonomous driving technology. However, the automaker behind it has kept mum about most of its features for a long time, leaving room for endless debates. But not anymore, because in today's video, we'll reveal if the Fisker Ocean will come with self-driving technology. Wait a second though. Before we get into the nitty gritty of things, let's discuss some of the other features we'll most likely see in this amazing car. The Fisker Ocean is one name that's turning heads within the automobile industry. Many people are absolutely rooting for it, and some have even labeled it the Tesla Model Y killer. And if we're going to be completely honest, some of the features that have been quoted for the Fisker Ocean puts it on par with the Tesla Model Y. And depending on the model you opt for, driving in a Fisker Ocean might actually be more enjoyable than going for a ride in a Tesla Model Y. Not to mention that the pricing is largely reasonable as well. The starting price for the lowest trim of the 2023 Fisker Ocean, the Sport model, starts at $39,000, which sounds too good to be true, considering that you'll get a maximum power output of 275 horsepower delivered by a single electric motor. By our calculations, 
This should be fast enough to help you zip from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.9 seconds. If that's too slow for you, there's the dual motor all wheel drive ultra and extreme variants, which can move you from 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds, thanks to a maximum power return of 550 horses. 20 inch wheels are available as standard options with all the models. Speaking on the car's dimensions, Fiskers says it's 4,780 millimeters long, which, to put in context, is about the same length as the BMW X3 or the Tesla Model Y. The wheelbase is 2,920 millimeters. It's pretty long, but that's because we also have a lot of space for batteries. I mean, we have the longest battery range in the world in our price class. Fisker hasn't released the official driving range estimate just yet, but from the whispers we're getting, the single motor sport model uses a lithium ion phosphate battery cell chemistry that should get a range of around 250 miles per charge. The dual motor all wheel drive Ocean Ultra, Ocean Extreme, and limited edition Ocean One cars are equipped with a much bigger 80 kilowatt hour nickel manganese cobalt cell battery pack increasing the driving range to 359 miles. Only 5,000 units of these Fisker Ocean 1 variants will be built with prices starting at $70,500. Its performance would be similar to that of the Extreme variant. However, it will ride on a special 22-inch wheel to differentiate it from the other models in the lineup. According to top sources, all of the 5,000 Fisker Ocean 1 limited edition vehicles have been spoken for already. This right here tells you everything you need to know about the pulling power of the Fisker Ocean. You wouldn't have any problems refilling your battery because the Fisker Ocean will be compatible with most of the EV charging stations. Nonetheless, Fisker is going the extra mile by partnering with Electrify America to offer some amount of complimentary charging to customers. We cannot estimate or speculate just how much it would be, and it's the same with the charging time as well. Another important feature of the Fisker Ocean is the solar sky roof, which reportedly adds a range of 2,000 miles every year. Perhaps the most certain gadget to expect in the Fisker Ocean is the 17.1-inch Revolve infotainment screen. It stays in portrait mode when the car is in motion and reverts to landscape Hollywood mode when parked. This sets the mood for the rest of the minimalist interior, which is sustainable and offers plenty of comfort. According to Henrik Fisker, the brain behind the Fisker Ocean, the sea fabric and flooring of this car are made from recycled t-shirts and plastic bottles. We wanted to make a luxurious interior, something different, Fisker said, adding that the whole idea was to do a clean, luxurious interior. Yes, it's simple, but it still feels luxurious. Since we're talking about the interior, we should mention that the infotainment system and other software features of the Fisker Ocean can be upgraded over the air. Henrik Fisker has previously worked as an automobile designer with top automobile companies such as Aston Martin and BMW. That tells us everything we need to know about what to expect in terms of design. But for what it's worth, Henrik also offered Curious Gearhead some insights into what has gone into the design of the Fisker Ocean. I did the first sketch, and I did the first clay model, Fisker explained. Then it got handed over to the design team and we worked together. We've got two female lead designers, the exterior designer is female, and interior designer is female. In addition, Henrik Fisker with the Fisker Ocean is to make a crossbreed between sports cars and SUVs. It's an SUV, but I wanted to make it almost feel like a sports car SUV, said Fisker. That's why it's got a lot of sculpture around the wheels. It sits really well on the road. It's got a wide track, which also is good for handling. Right before we discuss the possibility of the Fisker Ocean self-driving feature, if you've made it this far, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Now, to the all-important question. Does Fisker Ocean have self-driving? All models of the Ocean will come with Fisker's Advanced Driver Assist System, ADAS which the California-based automaker describes as Fisker Intelligent Pilot. It offers perks like evasive steering assist, integrated drive assist, which includes features such as traffic jam assist, adaptive drive control, lane centering control, and automated parking, as well as several other safety features. In addition, 
The Fisker Intelligent Pilot is equipped with a comprehensive suite of advanced safety technology, which features 4D 8 megapixel digital cameras, digital radar, and ultrasonic sensors. The Extreme and One Ocean models are equipped with the Traffic Jam Assist, which helps you control the car in traffic at low speeds. All these high tech features make the Fisker Ocean safer to drive, but it cannot be classified as self driving technology. The Fisker Intelligent Pilot is a level 2 driving system at best. We expect that Fisker will introduce the fully autonomous system at some point, but it will most likely come with the higher trims. For now, customers will have to do with the Fisker Intelligent Pilot, which isn't all that bad in itself. What do you make of the Fisker Ocean? Are you disappointed it doesn't have self-driving technology? Let us know your opinion down below. Be sure to check out this video over here.